why I think WordPress is awesome and it's the best website builder to use for your junk removal business. What up there guys, Izzy here once again, do it yourself, junk removal SEO, where I help junk removal business owners, small business owners understand the internet, SEO, and get their business found online. And on this video, what I wanna discuss is kind of an introduction to WordPress, what it is, why I like it so much and why I believe it's the best website builder to use for your junk removal business. When I first started out making my little journey to become a website designer, doing SEO and all that stuff, I used to build websites on Weebly. It is a really crappy website builder, but I learned a lot from doing it. And I know there's other services out there like Squarespace, Wix, Weebly is one of them, the, the GoDaddy website builder. There's a bunch of stuff out there. But over the years, what I've realized and understood based on understanding SEO more to me, again, I have nothing to document this on all theory. To me, it seems like WordPress sites rank better. Google seems to like them more. And I think this is because they've been around since like 2003. I think it started off as a place where people could just build websites when the internet was kind of new. And when I started to understand how WordPress worked, it made a lot more sense. It gives you a hell of a lot more options. Your websites come out looking exactly what you want them to look like. You could do all kinds of SEO optimization on them. So it, it really, really ends up being a really, really great platform if you understand and learn how to use it very well to build your business. So on this video, I'm going to show you guys the basics of WordPress. Just kind of like give you a bird's eye view of how the whole thing works. So first off with WordPress, all you have to do is to get a WordPress website set up is just go to any hosting company. There's Bluehost, there's HostGator, there's GoDaddy, there's every, they're all over the place. Just go to any one of these companies, go and they all should have the option to purchase something called WordPress hosting. WordPress hosting usually ends up costing, I know GoDaddy's one that a lot of these guys go to because it's just, they've, they've made a brand for themselves. Now people understand that they're hosting, they just, one of the ones that just directly go to. And it's usually around, I don't know, 150 to 175 bucks for the whole year, which is great. It's even cheaper than stuff like Wix. I don't know how much they charge, maybe like 30 bucks per month. But if you just set up WordPress hosting with like GoDaddy, you just purchase your domain, purchase the hosting and pay for the whole year it ends up being like 150 bucks. Some people, some people pay two or three years in advance and it's even cheaper than that. So that's the very first thing. Just go to any hosting company, purchase WordPress hosting, and get that thing set up right from the get-go. So I wanna show you guys one that I just basically finished rebuilding for a guy out in Sacramento, Trash Blast out in Sacramento. So this was built, rebuilt on WordPress. He had he had previously built his own WordPress, but he um, just didn't have the time for it. Here's a WordPress site. So every WordPress site's got uh, a place where you could log in, usually wpadmin.com. And it's, that's where you can log into your website. You put in your username, your password, and you jump in. Uh, so, and a lot of these hosting places, you can jump in through, like, for example, GoDaddy, access your site directly through GoDaddy, or just log into your website directly. So once you get in here, you'll have like this tab up here that shows you all your options. So the dashboard's basically like behind the scenes, behind your website, everything you, you need to understand for WordPress. The thing with WordPress has got so many options out there that it can get overwhelming. When I build out websites, when I show people how to build them themselves and things like that, I just show them the basics. You don't really need all that stuff to make everything look good. But WordPress, you build out your WordPress site and there's something called themes, right? Right here into appearance. So here's the dashboard for your WordPress website and here's your options right here's your posts. So if you're going to use this to build a blog, this is where you write your posts, media is where you upload all your pictures, anything you have. This is where you build out your pages. This is the comments that people leave on your posts. Uh, we don't deal with any of that crap. This is Elementor. This is a plugin we had install. I'll talk about that in a little bit. This is part of Elementor, all this Elementor appearance. This is where you pick your theme. Now, WordPress has a buttload of themes out there for, it just makes the website look different, feel different, uh, the way it's outlined. I always recommend just Hello Elementor. It's absolutely super basic. Another one's called Astra. That one's super basic, but Hello Elementor because it's absolutely bare bones, easy. You're not gonna get overwhelmed with a bunch of crap. 
that you really don't really need when building out these sites. Um, your plugins, plugins, plugins are the best way to describe is kind of like the apps on your phone. You have your phone and your apps on a phone. Plugins are kind of like apps for your WordPress website. The cool thing about plugins, you can do all kinds of shit with this stuff. You can add like, for example, on this site, or right, you could add in plugins like your Google listings, right? Google, Google reviews. You could add a plugin that allows you to put this in here. You can add a plugin that uh, allows you to set up an email form like this. You can add a plugin that all kinds of things you could do with these plugins. There's a bunch of them out there. I don't really focus too much on them uh, because all you need is some basic stuff. All we're trying to do is build a junk removal website or any type of business website that gets found in the search results. So this is the reason we like uh, WordPress. So those are the plugins, users, the people in, in your website. You could give access to somebody or just get change your settings for your thing there. Tools, uh, nothing really you need to mess with right here. Settings, general settings. Just basic stuff, you know, the name of your website, your domain, the, your email address, contact information, all that stuff you need to put into your to your uh, into your settings, which page you want to make your home page. These things are set up to be blogs. So you always have to put a static page and your home page, make it so that whenever it goes to your visit, visit your website, you're going to pick which page you want to be your home page. That's all pretty much on that. Yoast SEO, very, very important plugin that you need to add to your WordPress website. This will allow you to change your meta title, your meta description, all the SEO stuff that you need. Uh, and not only that, it helps you along the way. It lets you know if your SEO, your website, your page is SEO optimized along the way. Uh, Trust Index IO, this is the one I add, the plugin I add for uh, the Google reviews on the website. So you can see it's very, very basic stuff. So when I set up these websites, usually what I do is I just use the plugin Hello Elementor. I install that theme. As soon as I install that theme, it asks me to install Elementor. That's the website builder. And to me, this is the most basic, the best, the easiest, the coolest thing you can use to build these websites. It's absolutely brilliant. Whoever, whoever designed this thing is it, fantastic. And I usually add Elements Kit. Uh, what I use this for is to build the, the footer and the header of the website. So just to show you really quick, see, this allows me to build the the, the header of the website. So I click edit with Elementor and I see you could change the header. You can change the logo. You can change these, the way the colors look, anything, the color of the background, anything you want, you just change it. And then it saves it. You hit save and it'll be on every single page of your website. Same thing with the footer. So the exact same thing with your footer. You put the information you want on the footer of your website. Usually I put a little description here, the logo, contact information, and the Google map listing. I always embed it in the footer. Um, your uh, terms of service, privacy policy, that kind of thing. You save that, and now you'll have that footer saved throughout all your website, right? So you have your, hood, your header and your footer saved throughout your entire website on every single page. It'll be the same. That's exactly what you want. So it's, it's pretty cool to do that. So like if you ever wanted to add a page, So there's, I'm adding a page to Elementor, right? To, to the, my WordPress website with Elementor. So I just title the name of the page, edit with Elementor, right? And you got a completely blank canvas. You see, you have your header up here and your footer here at the bottom. And now you can start to build and you could do a million things. If you have the time and energy, you want to really experiment. You add a section here, right? And then you can add like a background overlay. For this section here, you could design how big you want it. See, I added this image to the background right here, right? In this section, and then you can see how big and how tall you want it, right? Minimum height. You could adjust it here, whatever you want. There's a bunch of things you can do, right? So there's that picture in the background. Then you could add content like this, like here's your headline, right? Add your headline. Jump removal company, right? You can center the text. You can make it bigger. See what I mean? You just adjust whatever you want to do, things like that. Junk removal company. And then you add your next section. And in this section right here, we'll put like, um, 
here's all your options. You can put intersections inside this, duplicate this. So you have three columns. I mean, it's just playing around with things, you know what I mean? And you could add all kinds of different things like, and this is all free WordPress plugins, all free stuff you could put in here. Like, um, there you go, right? You could duplicate that, add it to this section. Duplicate that, add it to this section. You could change the heading, you could change this picture to a half star, whatever you want to do. You know, so if you say you built that section out, you can change the color of the text, then you build your next section, right? Another section, another intersection here. Maybe you want to add stuff like an image here, right? And when you upload your images, you see what I'm saying? You got your images there. You duplicate this. Now you got a section with images. You can add more columns to it. Duplicate this. Right? Just stuff like that. And then what happens too is you can keep looking at what it's going to look like as you're building it. That's what it's going to look like on a tablet. That's what it's looking on a phone. So it's remarkably intuitive it, it takes time to learn all this stuff and fiddle around with it and the cool thing is like say this is your junk removal you could change to be h1 title tag right h2 title tag h3 title tag that's the cool thing about it so if you're building your website eventually you have more pages you can always preview this right here too and once you have all these pages up you can this will be your H1 title tag. This will be an H2 title tag, H2 title tag. These are H3 title tags. You could change all that stuff and make it look however you want to make it look. So that's the cool thing about WordPress. It takes a little time. And then once you get some practice in, you can save your, your whole outlay, your template. So basically what I have is templates that I've created for every pretty much anything. All these sections I've created these little background stuff like this. I've created all these templates, all these little designs. I have them saved up um, and I'm able to use them for other businesses and stuff like that for like, just like this Bay Area concrete contractor. I just built his website. I created different templates for his business. So here's his website. You know, I put a little video playing in the background. There's the service pages, right? complete unique designs for, for his business, but it, it's pretty basic. Once you get it down, once you get some practice with it and you've built out your own page, not only that, it gives you more options to add more content, add more pages, fix the SEO on every single page and just continually add content, add content, add content, add pages, add pages, change the menu, all kinds of different options. Perfect for SEO. So this is why I recommend WordPress to anybody's building a junk removal website. Um, you can obviously take the time and learn and do this yourself, or you can hire somebody else to build these for you. I do that for people if they want to do that. Um, like I said, it works great for SEO. So also I wanted to share with you guys just kind of an overview, a basic look at WordPress, kind of give you an, an idea how the whole thing works. So if you're looking to get a website built, um, I strongly recommend you get it built on WordPress, take the time to learn how to do it and get you a, a badass website set up. So that's all I got from you guys for today. If you guys have any information on the things that I offer, they're all in the description below. Till next time.